Oh, Canada, may the farce be with you. Viva Fry, Montreal litigator turned YouTuber. It is Friday, so it's supposed to be fake news Friday, but the best thing I could find in the news this week was that Fox News apparently thought Dana White was a woman. Instead, we're going to go over a piece of news which in any parallel universe that operated on the basis of sanity would otherwise be fake news. As at the time of shooting this vlog, last Monday was May the 4th, 2020, also known as Star Wars Day. It's known as Star Wars Day because it's May the 4th, so it's sort of a play on the phrase from Star Wars, May the Force be with you, May the Fourth be with you, except in Canada it just became May the Farce be with you. And yes, the Farce is with us, Canada. Now, full disclosure, because I know a lot of you out there like checking my bias and it's important that you do so, I'm going to give you a piece of information which might change the way you view me. It might make me lose 10,000 subscribers overnight. I don't like Star Wars. What? No. No. What? <gasps> no. I never liked the first three. I went to see the fourth when it came out in theater. I fell asleep after the opening credits, woke up at the end credits, and just to give you an idea as to how boring that movie must have been for me, I have never slept more than two hours straight, except in the fourth one. There, I said it, I'm glad I got that off my chest, and now judge the rest of this video accordingly. So this story is coming out of Lethbridge, Canada, and in case you don't know where Lethbridge is, it's in Alberta, it's about 108 miles north of Sweetgrass, Montana. Lethbridge has a population of slightly over 92,000, and according to the news, it is among Canada's most dangerous places. Lethbridge continues to move up McLean's list of Canada's most dangerous places. McLean's magazine released its 2020 list of Canada's most dangerous places on Tuesday, and Lethbridge continued its trend of climbing the crime rankings. The city cracked the national list of 15th overall in the magazine's all-crime category, moving up from 19th place on the last year's list. Just four communities in Alberta were deemed more dangerous than Lethbridge on the all-crime rankings, including Wetaskiwin, Grand Prairie, Red Deer, and Lloyd Minster. Just some overall context to fully appreciate the incident I'm going to describe now. The situation starts on May the 4th, 2020, with someone dressed in a storm trooper outfit outside a pizza shop for the purposes of promoting that pizza shop. Is it time for a drive? No. You want to listen to me talk? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we will continue this in a few minutes. All right, so we're in Lethbridge, one of Canada's more dangerous places by Canadian standards. We are a little over two weeks outside of the tragedy that occurred in Nova Scotia, so people are understandably a little more on edge. There's an individual in front of a pizza shop dressed in a stormtrooper outfit carrying a stormtrooper weapon. We don't yet know that the individual behind this costume is an 18-year-old woman. Not that that changes anything if that were to be a real weapon. The incident began after the Lethbridge police received two calls that an individual dressed in a stormtrooper outfit was standing on the street carrying a firearm. Police arrive on the scene, at least one of the policemen draws their gun and they give orders to this person to drop their weapon, which they do. But according to a police press release, the individual did not comply with further police demands to get down on the ground. <laughs> While a picture might be worth a thousand words, a video is worth even more. So let's just watch the incident. I'm recording you. Can you do a dance? Can you dance? What can you do? Can you do your stormtrooper walk? Do the march. It's in watching a situation escalate like this that I begin to ask myself, are people acting this way because they should or because they can? The progression of the situation is understandable right up until a certain point. Once that weapon lookalike is on the ground and the stormtrooper has nothing in his or her hands, it should be pretty clear what's going on. If there were any lingering doubt, it should be abundantly clear what's going on once the stormtrooper is heard sobbing behind her costume. 
Now, in fairness to the police, given the broader overall context, one can sort of understand how the situation got started in the first place. I don't know the level of detail on this particular Stormtrooper blaster weapon, but it does in fact seem that the Stormtrooper blaster was based on the Sterling MK4 submachine gun. And if we compare images between a good replica of the Stormtrooper blaster and an actual Sterling MK4 submachine gun, we can see how people could get confused. <laughs> I pulled the best screen grab I could of the Stormtrooper blaster that this individual was holding. I sharpened it a little bit to give it some more detail, but if you compare that to the other two images, okay, fine, somebody can mistake in that for an actual weapon. And it's an interesting thing in law. If you commit a crime with a fake weapon, it is deemed to be an actual weapon for the purposes of that crime. Section 85 of the Criminal Code, using firearm in commission of an offense. Every person commits an offense who uses a firearm, whether or not the person causes or means to cause bodily harm to any person as a result of using the firearm. Section two, using imitation firearm in commission of offense. Every person commits an offense who uses an imitation firearm while committing an indictable offense, while attempting to commit an indictable offense, during flight after committing or attempting to commit an indictable offense, whether or not the person causes or means to cause bodily harm to any person as a result of using the imitation firearm. Section 3. Punishment. Every person who commits an offense under subsection 1 or 2 is guilty of an indictable offense and liable, and we have the punishment. So in law, committing a criminal offense with an imitation firearm is as much of a crime as committing it with an actual firearm. Not knowing all of the details of the situation, it seems pretty clear that the individual carrying the Stormtrooper blaster was not in the process of committing a crime. That being said, brandishing a fake firearm in public can nonetheless lead to charges for disturbing the peace, for example. Do the march. There are dozens of stories of people getting brought up on charges for shooting movies, music videos in public using replica firearms. People don't know that they are replica firearms, they don't know that they're shooting a music video or whatever, and they call in the cops. <laughs> And there have been countless stories of people actually getting shot for carrying what looks like a firearm. All that being said, when this stormtrooper puts the weapon on the ground and begins sobbing uncontrollably, I think it's pretty clear what's going on in this situation. I think it's pretty clear as to what you should do, notwithstanding what you can do. A terrified 18-year-old who is sobbing too uncontrollably to comply with further demands, I don't think she can be faulted for that. On the contrary, I think the police can probably be faulted for escalating the situation to where it escalated to. Although she didn't end up facing any charges, she actually sustained injuries as a result of the way she was manhandled by those cops. Alright, and speaking of being manhandled, can we also appreciate that all of this is taking place in the context of the My Sharona Cyrus when we are supposed to be maintaining social distancing? Can we appreciate that the Lethbridge police thought that this blasterless stormtrooper posed a greater threat than not respecting social distancing guidelines in the era of my Sharona Cyrus. Back to the video. And just look at the demeanor of the policeman with the business owner. Are you serious? <laughs> this is Canada. We don't have guns in Canada. Go record us. Go record us. But don't come approaching us. Stay no. back there like everybody else. Okay, but this is Canada. This is the United States of America. Yeah, that's Donald Trump and his people. This is not an America thing versus a Canada thing, and I don't really care for what the guy was saying in the video. This is just a police thing. Any and every situation can be unnecessarily escalated. Just go to Twitter for evidence. That escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. But once that stormtrooper blaster was on the ground and this individual was crying her eyes out, there was absolutely no justification whatsoever for why this had to escalate to the point where it did. A woman dressed as a stormtrooper was apprehended Monday by Lethbridge police when they believed the gun she had could be real. The actions of those officers are now being investigated internally after video of the incident was posted to social media. Once that stormtrooper had nothing in her hands and the stormtrooper blaster was on the ground, the situation should have stopped there. It should never have escalated to her in handcuffs. It should have ended with a chuckle and a warning, and in any other sane universe, it would have. But one thing that is abundantly clear in the universe in which we live, when people's actions are driven by fear or anger, they are driven to do irrational things. They are driven to do disproportionate and unjustifiable things. Hey Siri, text wonderful wife. What do you want to say? There's a woodpecker on the bird feeder. Okay. There's a woodpecker on the bird feeder. I think that's a woodpecker. And, but for the fact that this was caught on video, posted to social media, and went viral, we would have never known this incident happened. And even if we became aware of the situation, we would have never known how over the top it actually was in reality. We'll see where this investigation goes. I strongly suspect we're never going to hear another thing about it, but if we do, I'll do a follow-up on it, that's for sure. 
and I see someone moving behind me, so it is time to go outside and get some fresh air and some vitamin D. If you like my videos and you like my content, please be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, drop a comment in the comment section below, it feeds the algorithm. If you want to support the channel, all of these support links are in the pinned comment, but above all else, take care of yourselves, stay safe, stay healthy, and now you know your vlog. Peace out. Booyah! Want to go to the park?